Bonjour friends and happy French Friday to you. While my mom was here visiting, we worked on several different projects and one of the projects being this shelf that I purchased in an antique store. It's this bluish gray color and the drawers were already white. I want to paint the whole shelf white and uh, I think it will just stand out and pop against the wood walls because the dark against the dark I don't think will look as nice so I'm going to give it a paint job here with this mud paint in this simply white color. I was anxious to get started painting so as you can see here the top's already white and I love the fleur de lis on the top here as well and here you can see it's all painted and we got it hung but uh, it was dark that night so I do show you what it looks like the next day with better lighting but uh, I think it turned out really nice and I'm happy with the uh, one color instead of the two tone I liked I like it all in white better myself. Let me know what you think about it. And I added this white wood peg rack that was actually raw wood when I purchased it from Walmart and I just painted it white and it came with the two screws so I just attached it uh, underneath the shelf and I think that turned out nice. Okay, so on to my next painting project. I'm sure you remember my French dresser that I had in my last house. I had painted it and I want to repaint it in this white color in this glidden paint in the eggshell finish that I picked up at Walmart. And I got one coat on here and it actually ended up taking two coats of the white paint. And now I'm just touching up the gold in the rub and buff antique gold color because I'd gotten a little bit of paint on the gold part and I wanted that to stay gold. So here it is all finished and we're ready to start decorating now here soon. I really love the robin egg blue color that I had on the dresser before, but I think the white looks really nice against the wood wall here. I think it looks so much better. It really pops. And I had asked my mom's opinion before I painted it, and she thought I should paint it white too because it really um, goes nicely now with the shelf above it and just looks so much better, I think, against the wood walls as well. So let me know what you think.
I love ironstone dishes and I have been collecting them for years now and I especially love collecting the ironstone pitchers as you can see here I have a weakness for the pitchers and just love collecting them I'm adding three to the top of the shelf here and I also love collecting the transfer wear dishes as well. I've been collecting these red and white ones now for several years and I picked up most of them at the flea market because someone was selling quite the collection at the flea market so I got quite a few there which I was very lucky to find those and I've also found some at antique stores and thrift stores uh, and that's how I've collected the ironstone dishes as well. I've just found them in different places. What is something that you enjoy collecting? Let me know in the comments below because I'm always on the lookout for things to resell on my online store as well. So I can always be on the lookout for things if there's something that you are looking for in particular. And I do need to restock my stores very soon. So I'll be doing that um, coming up here in the near future as well. Let me know if you would enjoy a video of the things that I'm going to be listing on my online store. Let me know in the comments below if you would enjoy something like that because I've been thinking about doing a video like that too. While we we're decorating here, I thought maybe I would get your opinion about something. I uh, was thinking when we first walked this house when we were looking at it to buy it I thought for sure that I would paint the wood walls and wood ceilings to lighten and brighten up the space but then when we after we moved in and we were living in the house these wood walls actually started to grow on us and we thought maybe we should just live with them for a while and see what we think and they really started to feel just really warm and cozy and um, I asked my mom what I should do, if I should paint them or, or not. And um, she said uh, to paint them. And so I was really considering painting them, whether it be painting them a solid white or uh, just whitewashing them or possibly painting them and then lightly distressing them. And so I was just kind of going back and forth, going to decide what to do. But then... When my mom came to our house and saw the wood walls in person, she said to not paint them. She said they were too pretty to paint. And uh, she said if you had to replace all the wood walls and wood ceilings today, it could be quite expensive, especially with the prices of everything going up, including prices on, on wood. And this is a cedar wood walls and wood ceilings. And so I think after my mom gave me her opinion I think I've just decided to live with them and um, because I'm painting all the other drywalled walls in the house um, a neutral color and I've been doing so much painting lately with the walls those walls <laughs> the other walls not the wood walls and also painting a lot of furniture as well so I'm I'm thinking I'm probably going to leave them for now and um but I just thought I would get your opinion on on this subject as well. So let me know what you think. Tell me down in the comments below. My mom and I both agree that, I, that painting the furniture white is really helping the furniture pop against the wood walls. And I think it's a really nice contrast too. <music>
You might remember this cabinet from my last house that I thrifted and I painted it white so it was ready to go. So my mom and I just hung it and decorated it. And then I also hung the wooden peg rack underneath it just like uh, the other one. But this one's a little bit shorter than the other one I hung below the shelf. But I got that one at Walmart as well and just painted it white. And then these lamps here, I was wondering if I should leave them that color or should I paint them white as well? They do kind of match my flooring because my flooring is like a weathered gray wood flooring. And so they do uh, sort of match and coordinate with the flooring. So let me know what you think, if I should paint those white or leave them as is. And I'm happy with how this corner turned out in the dining room. Let me know what you think about it. Okay, that is going to wrap up my video for today. Thank you so much for stopping by to visit. And I look forward to our next visit together. If you have not subscribed yet, I hope that you will so that you do not miss out on a video. And I will see you in the next one. So until then, au revoir.